Today's player in profile is a Chinese trained Swedish player who currently plays his club football in Denmark. Welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84 and today I'm coming back at you with another player profile. This time we are focusing on a player who was trained at a Chinese club before he moved back to his native Sweden to play for Orgright IS and from there he made the move to Denmark to play for Danish top flight club Midgetland. At only 20 years old and named on UEFA's prospects to watch, he has bags and bags of potential. Before we jump into today's player profile, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, hit the subscribe button to stay informed when all the latest player profiles are released. If you like today's player in the profile, hit the like button. And if you've got any comments about future players you want to be done on the player profiles, leave them in the comments box and I'll try and get through as many of those as I can. So today's player in question is Jens Kajus. He's a young player who could be set to burst onto the world football in stages. Let's have a look at his stats and see why he was rated so highly on that UEFA Ones to Watch list. He is currently 21 years of age. He has a three star current ability and a five star potential ability. At six foot two, he's rather tall for a central midfielder, but he can play various midfield positions. He can even play as a right sided fullback or right sided midfielder. In terms of his personality, it is balanced and his media description is hard working midfielder. In terms of his technicals, he has first touch of 11, heading of 12, passing of 13, tackling of 13 and a technique of 13. With his mentors, he has aggression of 16, work rate of 17, determination of 14, teamwork of 15. In the physical section, his highlights are strength of 15, stamina of 14, balance of 15, pace of 13 and acceleration of 12. I have put together some clips of Jens Kajust in match action so you can see how good he is as a central midfielder. Later on in the video I'm also going to sim the first three years of his career so you can see just how good he can become in the first three years. We will move him to Norwich in the English Championship for 14.5 million and then on to Inter Milan for 27 million. So let's have a little look at him in action before we move on to that simulation. In the first piece of footage, you can see Caduce picks the ball up on the edge of the box. He's going to drop the shoulder, cut inside his man, pick his spot just inside the post and score a fantastic goal inside the far post. In this piece of play, you can see Caduce is in the middle of the field. He's all on his own. He now receives the ball and looks up, sees the space ahead of him and he's going to deliver a floated pass into the feet of the attacker who can take a touch and finish with ease. In this piece of footage, Norwich have a throw in. They play a few decent passes before the ball comes to Caduce. You can see him there in the middle of the field. He's looking ahead, the space opens up, uses his vision and then passes the ball through the gap into the attacker who slots it coolly past the goalkeeper for an assist. Here the ball is played into Caduce's feet, again he looks around, uses his vision and slide the ball through the gap, perfectly weighted into the striker's path to set up another fantastic goal. Here we are then, three years into the future and let's have a little look at how Jens Caduce has developed as a player. So he is now a 23 year old, his personality has changed to resolute. Media description is that of a tireless midfielder and at Inter, whilst he still develops, he is only a two and a half star current and three star potential ability player. His technicals, his first touch has gone up to 12, his passing stayed at 13, his tackling and technique are still at 13, but other technicals in that area have improved. In terms of his mentals, his aggression is still 16, his work rate is still 17, his determination has gone up to 15 and his teamwork is still at 15. As for his physicals, his strength has gone up to 16, his stamina is up to 16, his balance has gone up to 16, his pace has stayed at 13, his acceleration has gone up to 13, and there is a big jump in this category for the kind of player that he is as a physical central midfielder. So let's have a look at his three season stats. 
We started him off first season at Norwich City, moved him there for 14.5 million. In that first season, he played 51 games in total. He had seven assists. He didn't manage to score a goal. His disciplinary record was 15 yellows with no reds. He had an overall rating for the season of 6.92. He had an overall rating for the league games at 6.93. Norwich then got promoted to the Premier League. Obviously, that step up was a big one for him. He then played 40 games in that season. He scored three goals whilst in the Premier League. He had two assists. His disciplinary record was 13 yellows, no reds. He had an overall season average of 6.78 and a league average of 6.77. And then we moved him on to Inter Milan for 27 million. Again, another step up in class. In this season, he managed to play 54 games with a total of two goals, four assists. His disciplinary record was 12 yellows, no red cards, and an across the season average of 6.90 and a season of league football average of 6.91. So as you can see from his all-time attribute changes, in terms of his technicals, he's had a slight overall improvement in technical ability. He's had a slight overall improvement in mental ability, but he has had a major overall improvement in physical ability. Like I said, these are the stats that define a central midfielder. He's now unable to be shrugged off the ball easy, can stay fit for games on end, and he's going to be a player who will slot into a team and play week in, week out at the top level. So we're going to finish up by looking at his career achievements in the three years. He was named Norwich's seasonal best 11. He got promoted from the Skybet Championship. He scored his first goal against Gibraltar at the age of 22. He was named in Norwich's seasonal best 11 in 2022. He then was, became Norwich's record sale with us selling to Inter Milan for 27 million. He was then named in Sweden's seasonal best 11 in 2023. Was named in the Italian Serie A team of the week in 2023, named in into seasonal best 11 for that season, and vitally won the Italian Serie A championship whilst at Inter Milan for his single season. So overall, he is a player who is going to come into some big teams, and I believe that he has all the star attributes and qualities to be a top class player at any team in any European country. So if you've enjoyed this video. Please hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all the future player profile releases. If you like this video and you like Jens Kajust as a player, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you've got any comments, if you've got anything you want to ask about Jens Kajust, or if you've got recommendations for any future player profiles, leave them in the comments box below and I'll try and go back to as many of them as I can. And until the next video, stay safe. I'll see you soon.